everybody, welcome back to Quack. Today, Hank and I are going to talk to you guys about ducklings and how you can get an idea of what breed you have if you have gotten them like in a variety from an online um, place or if Tractor Supply just didn't tell you what you got. Um, I'm gonna give you guys some tips of what to look for in your ducklings to figure out what kind of breed they are. So yeah, let's go. So first and probably the most obvious is the peaking. The ducklings are yellow uh, with either a pink or orange colored bill and orange feet. So if you have a little duckling that is all yellow, no spots or anything or they're coloring, yellow, fluffy, <laughs> um, pink or orange bill and orange feet, then you probably have a peaking duckling. All right, so for blue Swedish ducklings, your duckling is probably going to have a bluish gray fluff with a little yellow spot in the middle of its chest and speckled black and yellow, uh, yellowish white feet with a dark bill. So if you are seeing that in the duckling that you brought home, it's probably a blue Swedish duckling. White crested ducklings look a lot like Peking ducklings, except you'll notice they have already a little fluff on the back of their head. You might think that that's just um, a deformity in their feathers, but that is actually just what their crests are gonna look like when they get older. That's kind of just kind of the, the pre the pre-adult crest. So they have they'll have a little bump on the back of their head that's just a little bit fluffy, and that's how you can tell that you have a white crested duckling. All right, rowan ducklings are brown and yellow, and they're kind of striped. And the right way you can tell between a rowan duckling and a mallard duckling if you're buying them from an from online or from tractor supply is that the rowans will actually have their back toe intact and the mallards will have had their back toe clipped. This is so um, if somebody was to like dump a um, domestic mallard in the wild or if you just wanted to know because technically it is illegal to keep wild mallards um, as pets. Um, but you can keep domestic mallards as pets so that the way that they tell is they clip the back toe of the domestic mallard so that wildlife um, preserves can know whether it's a domestic or a wild mallard. So that's the difference between a mallard and a rowan duckling. So you're going to look for a brown and yellow striped slash dotted duckling. All right, Cayuga ducklings are going to be black with maybe a little yellow spot in the middle of their chest with a black or really dark brown feet and a really dark bill. So if you see that, in your duckling, it's probably a Cayuga duckling. All right, magpie ducklings are going to be yellow and black spotted with a little black helmet on top of their head. Um, that's kind of the um, biggest tell for magpie ducks versus Ancona ducks is that magpie ducks have a little hat on top, a little black hat. So look for that in your ducklings and you probably have a magpie. All right, so here's where it gets a little bit complicated is with runner ducklings, because runner ducklings, you can get all kinds of different colors uh, when you get runners. Hank here is actually a runner. He's a chocolate runner. So when he was a baby, he was brown, um, which is kind of like the khakis, but you will notice pretty early on that these guys, once they get a few weeks of age, they'll start standing up really straight. So that's gonna be your biggest tell for your ducklings to tell if they're runners or not, because the fawn and white runners have the same coloring as the Peking ducklings, they might be a little more of a mustard color. Um, the um, black runners are probably gonna look like Cayugas, and they're just gonna start standing up really straight once they get to about like four-ish weeks of age, three or four weeks of age, they'll start standing up straight, and that's how you'll be able to tell with them. All right, so Khaki Campbell ducks are just brown. They are brown ducklings with brown feet and a dark colored bill. Um, they're pretty easy to tell. So if you just get some brown ducklings from like Tractor Supplier online, you can pretty much guarantee that they are khakis. All right, so silver apple yard ducklings look a lot like Peking ducklings, except for one thing, they have a little spot on the top of their head that might at first lead you to think they could be a magpie, but just think of Avatar. Aang had that blue arrow coming right down, and that's kind of like what the spot on the top of silver apple yard ducklings looks like. I have a silver apple yard that I rescued when he was a baby, and he had definitely had the avatar arrow on his forehead. So definitely look for that when you're looking to see what kind of ducklings you have, because that will probably be an indicator that you have a silver apple yard. All right, buff Orpington ducklings look pretty much exactly like Peking ducklings, except they're probably a little more mustard colored. 
Uh, these ones might be a little bit harder to tell until they get a little older and start getting their feathers so you can see if they're white or tan because that's going to be the biggest tell of whether you have a Pekings or Buffs. All right, Saxony ducklings and Welsh Harlequin ducklings look pretty similar. They're both uh, pretty much the same color as a Peking, if not a little bit more mustard colored. Uh, the Welsh Harlequin ducklings might have some darker like stripes around their eyes. Um, other than that, they look pretty similar. So you're going to have to wait until they become more feathered so that you can be able to tell what kind they are. Because Aylesbury ducks pretty much look exactly like Pekings, their ducklings also look exactly like Pekings. Um, I, since I don't have any Aylesbury ducks, I do not actually know what the difference between an Aylesbury and a Peking is. Um, I, if you're interested, I could do some more research, let you know, but I truly, <laughs> they look very similar to me. Um, so maybe there, it seems like they honestly just could be a heftier breed of Peking, but they do look so much like Pekings that it would be almost impossible to tell if you have a Peking or an Aylesbury unless you breed them or have them as pets and you know the difference. All right, black Swedish ducklings look a lot, a lot like Cayuga ducklings, except the black Swedish, they have the yellow spot on their chest and it's a lot brighter and more pronounced than the Cayuga. So if your duckling has maybe some brighter yellow patches, um, it's probably going to be a black Swedish, but you also should probably wait until they grow up a little bit because Cayugas generally will not develop white feathering on the chest, whereas black Swedish will. And last but not least, Ancona ducklings. Ancona ducklings look a lot like Mac Magpie ducklings, the only difference is they do not have the little hat on top of their head. So they're black and yellow uh, spotted, but they do not have a little hat on top of their head. So if you have some little black and yellow spotted ones and you're not sure if it is a, a magpie or an ancona, just look for the little black helmet. And if they don't have it, it's probably an ancona. All right, I'm just going to throw in a little extra one here because I seem to always forget about this breed, but Muscovy. Uh, Muscovy are technically not ducks. They have some other traits. They are related to ducks, but they're not technically ducks, so they don't pop up when I look up breeds and such, but I'm gonna include them. Uh, their ducklings come in a lot of different colors. Uh, you can have ones that look like uh, mallards or roans, you can have ones like Pekings. Um, you can just have all different colors. Probably the most distinctive duckling I've seen that is a real tell that it's a Muscovy is the brown and yellow. There's not really any other duck breed where their ducklings are brown and yellow. It's either black and yellow, um, or like flipped where it's more black, yes, less yellow, more yellow, less black, etc. But the brown and yellow seems to be really distinctive for Muscovy ducklings. So if you have a brown and yellow duckling, I, it would be safe to say that it's probably Muscovy. All right, what did you guys think of the video? Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if I missed any or if there's anything I could add in the future videos or if there's any suggestions for future videos. Uh, thank you, Hank, for being my little partner in this video and helping to educate you guys on the different ducklings and what their coloring looks like. Um, once again, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.